Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've shot, um, actually at least a month. And I have to admit to having had a bit of winter blues and uh, just not being motivated. And I'm sure that happens to everybody, but you know, but I'm, I apologize for not having been around. It's uh, now actually into the first week of spring, actually second week of spring. So I think they'll put a little bit of uh, spring to my step, so to speak. I'm here at a wildlife reserve in, uh, in Long Island. I shot here before. Actually, last time I shot here, I think it was a year ago. Um, and it's about midday, so I'm expecting to get some bird photography in and maybe some woodland if it uh, clouds up a little bit. Right now, the sun is quite bright and high and the sky is blue. And uh, I'm not expecting to get much in the way of a landscape images again, unless, again, unless the, 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 it clouds up a bit. But hopefully I'll get some bird activity. I've seen some ospreys, they've been, uh, they've migrated back to the area. Um, and if I can get one in, in, in flight, that would be cool. So I'll try to catch some, capture some video, capture some images, um, and uh, we'll see where we go. I'm looking forward to being, you know, being out here for the rest of the afternoon and as uh, conditions change, hopefully, um, my birding will uh, have some positive results. All right, so let's hang around. I'm at a uh, platform right now overlooking a pond. Actually, it's, a, actually it's, a, it's, a, it's an inlet, and I'm gonna you know, see if uh, the osprey that just went by as I was talking comes back and maybe does a little you know, dive as they, as they often do in this area. And if not, we'll move along and uh, see what else we can get. All right, in the river behind me, I've just spotted a loon diving for fish. I hope it'll come back up somewhere in the area, although it looked like it was working its way down river that way. So uh, I may or may not get lucky here. I may have to move myself down the stream there if I catch anything. Uh, you'll see it right after, you know, right after this, but let me take a look and see if it comes back in this direction. Otherwise I'll have to move down there. Oh, actually I see it down there. So I'm definitely gonna have to move down river from where I'm standing because it's, well, that's where it is. All right, so. A lot of times, birding is about making a spot and then and then and then tracking it, and uh, doing a bit of stalking. It's a lot like hunting, except you don't kill the thing. So, I'll see what I can get, and if I do get it, get anything, you'll see it. And if not, I'll let you know I didn't get it. So that cormorant that I was looking at before, I don't know if it's already come by here, but this blind is a good spot to catch water birds. There's a little inlet that comes right over here from the main stream. I see a little mute swan swimming around in the background, but he's too far away to get a shot of it. But uh, I've got some unique birds uh, images over here, like um, my best shot of a northern loon. I got a common loon I got here. A, uh, my only shot of a tree creeper I shot here, actually it was off here to my left. I'll put that image up so you can see it. And uh, so we'll see what we can see. Hopefully if there is a water bird of some kind or other birds that are in the area, um, they'll uh, stop here. Or if it's a water bird, it'll, it'll, it might swim up the stream here uh, in my direction. I'm probably gonna have to put the 1.4 X extender on my lens. I'm not quite long enough, with, uh, even at 500 millimeters to get most of the shots that I'm envisioning in expecting to get. So uh, let me go do that now and then we'll sit up and wait and see what happens. So, so far this has been a bit of a dud. I was just about to do a piece of the camera and that cormorant that I was chasing flew back upriver that way. So I missed it. So there's another viewing platform or um, about a mile down the trail maybe a little less. So I'm gonna head on that way. I'm gonna keep on seeing if I can find any birds to shoot. There's a swan over there, but it's, I'm blocked by branches, so I can't shoot it from here. And it looks like it's going in the opposite direction from where I wanna go, so that's not gonna work either. All right, so, so far, no pictures, a number of sightings. So, so far I've seen a number of species, but I haven't got, got, I haven't got a shot of any of them except for some uh, B-roll of, of a couple of mallards. So I'm gonna hang around here a few more minutes and then move on to the next place. 
Well, I just, this is starting to become a theme now. A uh, osprey just flew past and then took a dive beyond where I can see. Unfortunately, this is not a good spot to catch the mallards, catch the mallards, catch the ospreys, because I'm blocked by the trees they can see behind me. So I'm gonna have to move to the other open area where I know that uh, the ospreys frequently fly up and down. There used to be a nest box down the stream and it got blown down, uh, the support, I should say, got blown down in a storm a couple of years ago. So obviously they found somewhere else to nest in the area. And uh, so I'm just gonna you know, walk on up to the next platform, it's an open area, and hopefully you will get some bird sightings over there. So far, nothing over here. You hear that in the background? It's taunting me. He's taunting me. Well, this is not exactly an ideal vlogging setup, but I'm making do as I'm heading, heading up the uh, trail to the uh, next viewing platform. Basically, I've got the camera the R6 with the uh, 35 mount on, a, on a discharge pod, which I have braced against my waist and image stabil stabilization turned on. I don't know if this is going to work, and if it doesn't, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. In any case, it's about another half a mile or so up the trail where I am right now. So, uh, it is so quiet. It's not a, I, I, right now I'm coming up across a uh, grove of pines that normally, um, pine warblers would be arriving here about now. So far I don't hear any song, singing at all. So. May or may not be anything there, but uh, and if there is, I'll stop and see if I can lure it into view because I have an app on my phone that plays bird songs. Uh, try not to do that too much because it can disturb the birds. But since the uh, pine warblers usually are up in the canopy, that's sometimes the only, thing, only way you can get them down the shooting range. But I don't hear a thing, and unless I see some movement, or hear a song, I'm just gonna keep on walking up to the next platform. All right, I'm in luck. There are at least two pine warblers singing in the trees behind me. I don't know if you can hear them. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a kind of open area right over here to my left. I'm gonna set my phone up with that uh, bird app, play the song back for a minute or so, or maybe not even that long, cause I don't wanna disturb the birds too much, but what I'll do is set the bird, set the phone up, stand off here a little to the sh to the sh to the shade. Hopefully, one of the warblers will come out to an open area, looking for the phone, looking for what it thinks is a rival. And if if that works out, I'll get the shot. So, wish me luck. All right, there is a somewhat irritated pine warbler in the trees nearby. You might be able to hear it chipping. The singing you hear is my phone. If it comes within reach in a clear area, I should be able to get a decent shot of it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's right over my head. Songbirds are so territorial. What it'll probably do is circle around closer and closer, trying to find the other bird, which of course is on the ground right in front of me. How you doing? I don't want to run this much longer because the birds will start getting a little more aggravated than it's really appropriate. So, oh, there he goes again, right in front of me. Oh, it's a yellow warbler. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, there he is. Nope, fine warbler. All right, I think that was enough.
finally at the other platform and there are two ostriches right in front of me. So. All I gotta do is find it and fire. Which with a long lens is not as easy as you might think. Oh, there's three of them. Probably a pair and maybe one of its yearling offsprings. All right, they're moving a little farther away now. I'm gonna waste, hopefully they'll circle down and get a little closer. Because from here, a little hard to shoot them. It's real important to hold steady, brace your elbows against your body. Turn it a little. Oh, it's tracking it pretty good. There we go, very nice. Too bad it's going away from me. Now I gotta get a shot of the osprey approaching me because that way you can see his head circling around. Hopefully he's gonna come back this way. So, where'd the other two go? No, oh, there's one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, this damn tree. Yes, 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 no, 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 it's not working. Oh, he's, he's hovering like he's got something in sight. There, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. At least the sky is blue. Because against the white sky, it would be a very unattractive photo. And ideally, I would want some kind of a decent background, trees or something. Oh, it's a fourth osprey. So that's really cool. So we got four osprey there. Probably a parent and it's chicks from last year. Because the uh, offspring will tend to hang around with its parents for about another year and then find it, go off to find their own territory. Uh, they've really gotten too far away to shoot now, so I'm, I won't shoot anymore until they come really closer. But it looks like basically all four of them are moving their way down river. But I did see in here a couple of other songbirds or something in the area. So I think I'm done with the ospreys, but maybe there will be something else for me to shoot before I start heading on back. Okay, I think I'm gonna make that an episode. Uh, the birds have pretty much settled down, the ospreys have moved off. There's really nothing else going on right around here and uh, given the time of day, the birds are starting to settle down since they do most of their feeding and such in the morning after they get up. So I'm gonna move on back to the car. If I get any more bonus footage or images, I'll uh, put them at the end right, right after this, but I hope that you liked what you've seen so far. And if you did and you wanna see more, then please give me a like and a subscription and uh, any comments yay and nay in, ter in terms of what you, uh, what you saw today. Um, I've been doing primarily landscapes up until the last few, um, but I'm starting to you know, go back to bird photography, which is something I've always liked to do. Recently I did some, uh, some city photography, you know, urban photography, I might do some more of that. And in about a month I have a trip to Arizona and I'm really looking forward to doing some desert landscape photography. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, maybe you'll see that in the next couple of, uh, next month or so. So until then, See you next time, and bye.